to this celebration. My name is David Mark, and I'm, along with the board of Beacon Trust Canada, the 2015 version. Um, and the current staff, we welcome you to this lovely venue to celebrate uh, 20 years of Ecotrust history. Uh, I've been asked to uh, open tonight's ceremonies and, and to uh, explain a little bit of how I came to be here. My association with Ecotrust Canada began actually 23 years ago. This is the 20th birthday. Ecotrust Canada. About this time of the year, I was lounging on my beach on the west coast of Vancouver Island, a lovely place called the Tatsu Bay, and three winsome young women drifted across the creek and onto the beach. They were Spore Bourbon, Valerie Langer, Karen Mahon, uh, and they introduced themselves as, at that time, associated with the Friends of Clack and Sound, and told me that they were in the midst of planning what was to be the largest movement of mass civil disobedience in Canadian history. Uh, they told me that they intended to launch this campaign in the defense of the primal coastal rainforest and the rights of the Chum First Nations. Of course, I expected them to want money. Uh, but they didn't want money. Instead, they wanted support. Would I defend them if they were to be arrested as the organizers of this movement? Would I organize uh, defense lawyers in Vancouver and Victoria to defend the mass of protesters that they ho hoped would uh, take up their cause? Of course, I said yes. And that yes set me on my personal course to the Ecotrust family. In Tofino, I was introduced to George Patterson, and now the Tofino Botanical Garden. Uh, and Georgia introduced me to Spencer Reedy. It's tragic that Spencer can't be here tonight. He sent us here. And Spencer had formed Ecotrust in uh, Portland. Uh, he'd come out of Conservation International, and he was interested in having defended the rainforests of our world to defend what he called the rainforests of home. And I was inspired by him, and I ended up taking an appointment to his Portland board uh, in 1993. And at that board meeting, I met the wonderful Jacqueline Kerner. Uh, and uh, shortly thereafter, about 20 years ago, unbelievably, uh, Jacqueline and I found ourselves one night in a small room, uh, rented then from the Suzuki Foundation, uh, meeting with a cub reporter by the name of Ian Gill, and uh, Ecotrust was born. Uh, it was a long time ago. We were inspired by what Spencer called the triple bottom line of protecting the environment, promoting a sustainable economy, and advancing equity. He set out as old as fun could be in 1995, William Davidson of the Heisman, of the Heisman, of the Heisman, of the Heisman, exactly, and uh, E. George uh, Wilson of the Slave of Tooth. And we were guided by their wisdom, and they inspired us in our early days. And then we were always blessed with guidance uh, from a socially committed group of leaders in our community. Pat Marchak was the Dean of Arts, Stephen Owen, the former Attorney General, Scott McIntyre, the, the indefatigable publisher, Robert Bateman, Wade Davis, Dennis Perry from the Capital Markets, Mary Houghton and Ron Brzezinski, who had founded uh, Shore Bank in Chicago and led us to our uh, effort to deploy capital in support of, of uh, environmental conscious businesses. Uh, Marine Lund, Rick Young, briefly Tom Berger, uh, the wonderful Jim Hume, who we lost while he was in our midst, Julia Levy, still on the board, 
and on and on to many to mention. It's an honor and a privilege to have served beside leaders like that in our community. And uh, they led Ecotrust on throughout, anchored and inspired by initially uh, Ian and now Brenda, uh, and ultimately led by Jacqueline, whose service to British Columbia and to sustainable development and equity and ecology is perpetual and dedicated and wonderful. And she was the chair for so many years of Eden Trust. And to Spencer, who remained a strong force on the rudder in turbulent seas from time to time. And uh, it's been a wonderful run. I left in 2008 to do another foundation, uh, and uh, the staff, I was asking founding staff, well, I, I described the mission as the old staff, <laughs> the founding staff, how many staff may have flown through the doors of Eaton Trust, including volunteers and contractors, and there's hundreds and hundreds, it'd be great to get a number on number of people who contributed to the real work on the ground uh, throughout uh, those years. So, we've done our duty. We've aged well. Sephora now leads forest ethics. Valerie, who brought me to this, uh, has led Boreal Forest. They led the campaign for the, for the Great Bear. Uh, and uh, they continue to campaign. Tonight, we should permit ourselves to take a moment to reflect on our modest accomplishments and to remember all that again remains to be done. So I welcome you here and encourage you to have a wonderful time. I want to acknowledge the presence uh, our, some of our municipal councillors, Andrea Reimer and Jeff Meggs are here, both Jenny Kwan and Councillors Herbert, Deal, Affleck, and Carr wanted to be here, expressed their regrets. I have two messages. Uh, one from Rick Young, uh, one of our board members that I've been asked to convey to you. The first is from Rick. I'm heading to Kenya on the 27th with students from Ryerson. The prep is very full. I still feel connected to Ecotrust Canada after my time at board. Please know and convey to my Ecotrust friends that even though I can't be there, you are with me, you are in my heart. I have happy memories, memories and my admiration abides. For me and Gil, who's in Europe, we began our journey 20 years ago in what we call the rainforests of home. Today as ever, Ecotrust Canada is dedicated to alternatives that benefit people in the places they call home. Our organization has undergone changes over 20 years and will no doubt experience many more of all signs of a healthy and adaptive culture. But looking back, two things stand out. The search for alternatives is one of the great imperatives of our time. And there's no place like home. Ecotrust Canada has been to many great minds, tremendous ambitions, and a relentless curiosity about, works where, what, about what works where people are at. Those are the attributes that are worth celebrating, and values that will hopefully sustain us through another generation of immense challenges and change. Bravo, Ecotrust Canada, for me.